Hello everyone, today we read and comment the first chapter of the fifth book of von Clausewitz von Krieg. The name of the book is Military Forces, the one of the chapter General Scheme. The text follows. We shall consider military forces. 1. As regards their numerical strength and organization. 2. In their state independent of fighting. 3. In respect of their maintenance. And lastly, 4. In their general relations to country and ground. Thus we shall devote this book to the consideration of things pertaining to an army which only come under the head of necessary conditions of fighting, but do not constitute the fight itself. They stand in more or less close connection with and react upon the fighting, and therefore, in considering the application of the combat, they must often appear. But we must first consider it by itself, as a whole, in its essence and peculiarities. So, dramatically short chapter, in which von Clausewitz introduces Book 5 on military forces. This is the general scheme that the author uses to explain what we will be reading. So, he simply says, we shall consider military forces in, in the following ways. So, first, as regards their numerical strength and organization, right, partly we have already addressed this in, in the previous chapters, but this is done, as we will see now, better in, in a more comprehensive and interactive fashion um, for what the military force is, so properly the, the instrument, right, that, that command has, right, to to perform its, its military mandate, right, uh, and all these factors do interplay with each other, and that's why it is important to know. Then two, in their state, independent of fighting, that is to say, besides essentially how they will be actually employed during the moment of combat, so we will take a look at the military force of what it is essentially and the way we can employ it, of course, but considering their nature first and foremost. Three, in respect of their maintenance, right, so this is also about, you know, this forces are not out there in the open and uh, remaining, you know, intact up to the point you send it against the enemy. Really is an important aspect of how to deal with them and how to keep them fit, functional. And lastly, four, in their general relations to country and ground. Uh, and as you understand, th these are all connected. That is to say, it's obvious that uh, a way to maintain the troops is foraging right on the country. Um, and uh, the the the, the world thing, as you understand, is 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 very um, uh, close to 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 the functions of uh, administrating also effectively these military forces during the campaign, um, but without losing from the general horizon. The fact we're still talking about the theory of the art of war. That is to say, it's not just how you mechanically feed these people or how you make logistic function, which is something that properly does not pertain to the art of war, but specifically how to move them, in this case it's quite evident for foraging, in, into areas that eventually will allow you to maintain them, to, and, and this is all connected naturally to, a, to, to strategy, to tactics consequently, but also with the, 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 the political mandate for, for the employment of these military forces. And von Clausewitz adds, thus we shall devote this book to the consideration of things appertaining to an army, which only come under the head of necessary conditions of fighting, right? but do not constitute the fight itself. That is to say, we are not using these forces for, you know, camping out there. Uh, we are doing it still for the sake of making them fit for combat. So, it's not merely, uh, uh, as we are saying right now, uh, a question of considering their mechanical functioning, but more specifically on how they should be handled in order for them to be effective on the field, right? independently from the field itself. This is the point. Um, he also adds, they, they stand more or less close connection with and react upon the fighting, and therefore, in considering the application of the combat, they must often appear. So here it's obviously dealing with uh, one side, as we were saying before, the uh, interrelation between these factors uh, that that are that, that operate within the armed forces, and 
the strategical usage of them, right, specifically for the comp. And it then he says, but he, we must first consider each by itself as a ball in its essence and peculiarities. So it opens to the second chapter that, yes, we, we will see another time. Um, I, um, you know, I don't mind to make shorter videos like this, but they're they're random, as you understand, it, depending on on the length of 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 the text. Um, also, I don't mess up the you know every every chapter has uh, a video or maybe even a paragraph, depending. Some are very long, but um, I don't mix the the two things. So we we conclude here for now, and um, I. Probably for today, at least, I will add something. I will check something out, um, uh, something impaled in a, of military historical nature to, to discuss. Uh, so I will probably upload another video. But for now, just I hope that you enjoyed this one. And if you did, please share it. Otherwise, do a like or subscribe to my channel if you're interested in my upcoming content. And for now, I thank you heartily for listening to me. I wish you a nice time and see you next time.